welcome back to my channel today I have a very exciting video for you guys just received this in the mail this is the Charlotte Tilbury's new airbrush bronzer that she just released along with this luxury palette of mattes in desert haze I just can't wait to put these to test and show you guys how they perform if you guys want to see how these perform please keep watching so I have already done my base uh, color correcting primer, concealer, and I put on Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm also wearing a little bit of the Hollywood Flawless Filter just on the high points of my uh, face and on top of the, the foundation. So let's get started. So I want to start with the eye look. So just can't wait to play with this. So this is what the palette looks like. They're all matte shades. It looks a little lighter than what I saw on pictures on the, her website and elsewhere, but uh, I'm glad that it's not too strong. Uh, this would be this would be something that could go from day to night, you guys, and I really can't wait to try. Okay, let's get started. I think I'm going to do like a gradient look today. That's what that that was the first thing that popped into my my mind when I saw this palette. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up a big fluffy blending brush like this one by Wayne Goss and I'm going to go into this one on the top and I'm going to start in the crease. Don't worry I'm going to do a gradient look but I'm just going to start with a little bit of definition in the crease. performs super super well they, it kind of blends itself out and bring it to the inner corner kind of in circular motions and now I'm going to start my gradient look I'm going to take a very pointy crease brush and I'm going to go into this dark uh, espresso kind of coffee shade in here and I'm going to run it right along my lash line Gonna be like a messy but you know and slight wing like this one by Wayne Goss and I'm going to go into the next darker shade, dark shade on the bottom here. Tap my brush and I'm going to basically um, bring the color up slightly from that bottom color that I laid down. Just a little to the top there, like that. but a sort of pinched blending brush and I'm going to go into this color right here on the top the one I used in the crease and then I'm going to build it up to the crease
enjoyed my eyebrows you guys they are so wild and haven't plucked them I should be plucking them but I'm so reluctant to pluck because I like to get them thread because I'm worried I will you know mess up the shape or something and I just need to clean up clean it up at least because the mall has been closed where I go to get my eyebrows threaded did you see that how gorgeous that colors these colors are really really smooth and silky kind of creamy and buttery I would say more silky than buttery and then I'm going to take a larger fluffy blending blush brush and I'm going to take this bone color here and then just kind of sweep it at the very top on my brow bone area now I'm going to actually take a um, black shader brush and I'm going to actually put that bone color a little bit more precise right under the brow bone. So I'm re-intensifying that wing just like that. I'm going to come along the lash line and kind of wing, I'll flick it up so there's like a, a small trail of smoke right there if you guys can see same on the other eye so I want it to be like a very messy smoky like wing with shadow there go back in with that second dark color and I'm gonna sort of intensify the outer corner a little bit more with circular motions so that's a little it's so that it's a little bit more defined and smoky Now I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner in this beautiful berry uh, brown shade and I'm going to do a sort of a, a very subtle, a very uh, not very noticeable kind of wing with it. You guys don't have to do this step if you want to you can just leave that beautiful espresso sh smoke shade uh, and you know leave that messy wing you did with it um, which would be really beautiful too now I'm gonna go back in with that small um, blending brush with that second dark shade and I am going to sort of redefine the outer corners after doing the wing liner so I'm, I'm really bringing this you guys can see I'm bringing this all the way up and I'm bringing it out to the to, to elongate my eye smoky look that I wanted I think it's really beautiful and now I'm going to put that same liner on the waterline of my eye now I'm going to do the lower lash line I'm going to take a flat definer brush and I'm going to go in with that espresso shade and I'm going to put it right under my waterline just tight I'm going to keep it mostly to the outer third of the eye I'm 
And now I'm going to take a small pencil brush like this by Sonia G. And I'm going to go in with this light, second lightest shade. And I'm going to smoke that down. I think I'm going to use the second dark color, darkest color, and use that as well to smoke the uh, lower lash line. Right under the darkest color, the espresso color, and then the lightest one at the very bottom. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows and put some mascara on. I'm going to use this Charlotte's Legendary Lashes too, and I will be right back. put on Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes 2 Mascara and I uh, filled in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Pencil and then I used Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brows on my eyebrows so I'm back. Now I'm gonna set my face with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Powder. It I've hit pan on this and I have no idea how many of these I've gone through now you guys. I mean I go through these like water. A little bit and put it under my eyes as well. Come a little closer to my nose. I'm sorry you guys if you guys can hear mowing I'm sorry about that. It's a beautiful day outside so everybody's out mowing their lawns. Now for the airbrush bronzer I got it in the shade 310 so it's like the third dark shade I think it comes in fair medium tan and deep i think so it's, this is what the component looks like how beautiful is that you guys i mean this is really large just to give you an idea this is it next to my face and to give you an idea this is what it looks like next to the airbrush flawless uh, powder i love this engraved kind of lines on this bronze new packaging it's really beautiful i love her new design you guys it's very modern and there's a hole in the back that you can pop the bronzer pan out and you can refill these so they're refillable which is amazing you know not wasteful so this is what the um, tan shade looks like let me do a little swatch and show you guys I'm gonna show you in the back of my hand so that's what it looks like I did a little there you go. So now I'm going to use my refer bronzer brush and I'm going to go in. shade I think I could have gotten away with medium too you guys I really do I'm wearing this foundation on me is a little tanner than my actual skin tone I am tan but I'm not this tan usually unless it's like the middle of summer so I think like if it's not summer I probably can pull off medium as well I love the tone of this bronzer it's not red it's not uh, orange it's like that perfect kind of uh, beautiful blushy kind of uh, neutral bronze uh, it reminds me of Natasha Denona's um, bronze and glow, glow palette bronzer um, it's a little bit like that in finish really love the way it looks guys can you see oh I'm loving it I think it's perfect it just it blends so well I will read you guys the description Charlotte has on her website 
this is supposed to be in the same airbrush family the same as this airbrush powder like blurring and sort of airbrush finish so that is what I am seeing it's kind of like blurring out my texture on my skin and it's warming up my uh, skin really well just the right amount wow it's really good um, I love it you guys I really do I just want to keep bronzing all day okay so that's that and I'm, I'm gonna go back in with that powder brush now I'm going to go dig into this Love Gasm palette. I think it's sold out on her website. It's discontinued, which really sucks. I'm going to take that uh, blush color from that palette. And then I'm going to blush up my cheeks. Since the, the bronzer is matte, I wanted to go with a glowy blush. I think it would work really well. Wow, yeah, it does. Really well with this bronzer. And I'm gonna use the same highlighter that's in this palette. I'm gonna go into the highlighter in this Love Gasm palette, which would be perfect tone for this look. Yeah, it is. I'm go up and to this brow bone like a C curve and then up here to the forehead a little bit chin and take a tiny tiny brush Go and highlight my nose bridge. I'm going to take a, a brush like this, a flat kind of fluffy brush, and I'm going to go back into the bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose a little bit with it. Like I always do, I always contour my nose just slightly with whatever the bronzer I'm using. So this is great for that too. This bronzer is like a nice neutral tone, you guys. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. If it were cool, then it would become like a contour. This is the kind of bronzer that you can replace contouring like on days that you use a bronzer like this because it has the right amount of uh, warmth, but it also will do a great job kind of chiseling. It would also help you kind of define your cheek bones as well at the same time so that's all the contouring I'm going to do for the nose now I'm going to go into Charlotte Tilbury's uh, lip cheat lip liner in the shade Hollywood honey and I'm going to line my lips now I'm going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's superstar lipstick in the shade Walk of Shame. I just got this on Sephora via V sale. I love her superstar um, formula. I just got this in with my second Sephora via V haul. I will link it up here. And this is in that. Let me set my face. nice mister really fine mist uh, feels really nice so look at that eye look you guys I'm in love with it that's exactly what I was looking for um, looks really beautiful um, so this is the finished look you guys so it says on Charlotte's website new airbrush bronzer a matte bronzer for your your most natural sun-kissed complexion yet with hydrating hyaluronic acid inspired by the smoothing pore blurring effects of the iconic airbrush family so she has the whole airbrush family the airbrush foundation the airbrush uh, powder and all that stuff so yeah it is definitely I would say pore blurring and airbrush it gives that airbrush look I would agree with that now let's see what it says for the eyeshadow palette the 
New luxury palette of mattes in Desert Haze. Discover the airbrush-like peachy terracotta brown shades in Charlotte's new limited edition all matte palette and create a supermodel summer gaze. So this is limited edition, so I just read that here. I really love both of them, you guys. I love the smoky eye look I got with this uh, all matte palette, Desert Haze. And I love the bronzer. I just love its shade. I think it's like a perfect shade for a bronzer. I mean, it's got warmth but it's not orangey or reddish. I hate red bronzers and I can't stand orange ones either. So this has got the perfect type of undertone. I think it reminds me of Natasha Denona's um, uh, Bronze and Glow, Glow Palette Bronze, which is like a nice um, shade. And this is even warmer. I think I like this even more. So yeah, I, I and it comes with a, with a nice mirror and then it comes and it's you know refillables and the design is to die for. I highly recommend both products you guys. I think they are perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video.